can see a lot of the lanterns and the chandelier and the design of the domes in the inside. The ceiling is amazing. So imagine, like 1830, they were only using oil lamps and candles to light stuff. So here we're using electricity and lamps. But before it was more beautiful and amazing. Be careful. Another step. So to the right side here, we have Muhammad Ali's grave, his tomb. So here we're the king, the founder of this dynasty, Muhammad Ali. And it says here in Arabic, in the name of the God, the Morsi, the merciful, the Morsi. So this is here we have, on the right side, which is written in Arabic, the governor, the king of Egypt, his majesty, Muhammad Ali. And then Quranic verses. And this is here where it's made out of Allah Pastor, his coffin, the sarcophagus where he is buried as a part of the restoration that was made by Muhammad by King Farouk. So here you can see the domes. So at the main domes, those are the four Khalifa's name who followed the Prophet Muhammad. So after the death of the Prophet Muhammad, so you can see here the call of prayers. The Turkish were so impressive in the echo because there was no speakers at that time. So they must using this. And this was all lit with oil? It used to be oil lamps, most of the chandeliers, but this was before, so the main ones used to be as this. But when Muhammad, when uh, King Farouk restored the place here, he got the chandelier, which is the finest, a European style. And we have here two corvettes. The one that, the green one, this is the original one. The one to the left side, this was the addition that was added by. Right. The last king of Egypt, 1939. And talk to me about the importance of the stained glass. So the glass here, this was made. So as I told you, as a part of Muhammad Ali's restoration and added to this place, so he got a lot of craftsmen from all over the world. So Muhammad Ali was the king of Egypt, but the European style was integrated to our civilization to the Egyptians so that's why in the downtown you're gonna see a lot of buildings built on the European style Italian French and mostly Greeks because the Greeks also lived in Egypt Italian French Egypt was a place everyone wants to come and work when it was a kingdom and before the world And can you access those at upper level? No, this is no. only used for the restoration part and for cleaning the windows. Because this is here with the best place. <laughs> for all the occasions. Ramadan is one of those occasions. And the Eid, the feast that happens after Ramadan and all the important occasions. They used to come and pray inside. So what are they doing here? They're taking a picture with the ceiling. Oh. You can go and try. Okay. But we don't want to zoom in. And uh, not from here. We're using the other camera. <laughs> 